That's some nice fog. Look at all that spinning all over the place. Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Kicking off a new... That's not what's happening here. It's This is the last minute video. I'm not kicking off a new week. It's the day before the video comes out. I didn't vlog at all this week. It's a holiday week. Was doing things with the family. You know, Thanksgiving and all that fun stuff. There are a few things that I would like to do. Some updates to give. Got a new humidifier. There's like 5,000 ladybugs swarming around in here, which by the way, quick question, do ladybugs smell? Is there a stench? I never noticed it when I released them outdoors, but there's a an odor in here today, and I released these a couple of days ago, and I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. It's not necessarily a bad smell, but usually it smells kind of sweet out here, because there's normally something in flower, or all the kangaroo paw ferns, there's things that smell nice. But this is different. What else I've learned? Ladybugs? Kind of helpless. Spent a good amount of time out here releasing these bugs. Sorry that's so wobbly. When you zoom in that close, it's hard to hold the camera still. Did you know a group of ladybugs is called a loveliness? That's new to me. Seems fitting. Ladybugs are lovely. They're, I mean, not to other insects. They're probably terrifying since they devour everything that they can, but they're fun to look at. They got the polka dots and a fresh layer of predator mites on everything. I'm thinking this leaf back here on the elbow that's gonna have to go. It hasn't opened up all of the way, but I mean, look at, yeah, that's all white. Oh, it is unfortunate. That's gonna have to go. No reason to hold on to an all white leaf, right? It's not gonna do anything for the plant, so may as well just cut it off, let it try again, and hopefully it'll do something better next time. Oh, but yeah, the old humidifier broke. It just stopped working. Don't know what the problem was. And I was actually okay with it because look at how short the cord was on that thing. And here's the base. And here's the power box for it. And you can see there's some other things i really not all that crazy about with this. Just exposed wires in there, no protective casing around it. So I always had to be very careful with this in, a, in an area where there's water absolutely everywhere. So when this broke, I was like, you know what? I'm okay with that. I've wanted to replace it. And when I got this, I got the cheapest one I could find because I was just getting it as an experiment. Sometimes you have to replace the little atomizer pads on them, which may have been the case with the one that I had. But the one I had, I got a few years ago. And I don't think that that company sells the replacements for them since I wanted to get a new setup anyways. I just went and got a new one. So it's working well. It's a little bit more powerful than this one. Has a few more atomizers in it. And it came with a set of replacement atomizer tabs and a little tool to go ahead and change those out. There's a ladybug getting ready to crawl into my... Uh, I don't mind the ladybugs. I don't want them on my face. I have a thing about bugs on my face and they might crawl in your ears. Like, not that that's going to happen, but there are so many of them out here that it could. Should I be wearing earplugs? I don't know. Okay, and I just, just pulled this one off of my face. They've only been in here for a day or two. They need some more time to settle. They will disperse more into the plants as time goes on. I release the ladybugs every year. They do a pretty good job getting things going. They don't really crack down the mealybugs as much as I would like them to, but I haven't seen, fingers crossed, I'm sure they're here somewhere, haven't seen mealybugs out here yet this year. And usually if I look hard enough, I can find them. I haven't seen them. Doesn't mean they're not here. Usually I don't see any, and then usually around February, all of a sudden, just like, boom, they're everywhere. So this is preventative. Just gonna be a video coming out about the predator bugs here in a few days. I don't wanna hang out in here anymore. I don't like hanging out while the humidifier is running. I don't really think that it's the best thing for the lungs. And I almost just had a ladybug crawling to my eyeball. Yeah, I know, it's an abrupt change. Listen, sometimes things happen. I was filming and then decided that what I was talking about didn't really matter. So I'm just gonna cut all that out and start over. Here I am at the place. I wanted to see if they have poinsettias because I need to Christmas glam up the house somewhat. And I need some like orchid bark and those things which I usually get those from Lowe's. I say which I, which I normally grab from Lowe's because I don't usually like the blends that they have here. They keep it outside. That's kind of musty and gross. Lock. Lock. Why aren't you locking? It's supposed to lock when you... What, what's wrong with you? Parking lot full of people and I'm just the person out here standing around screaming at my car talking to my phone. It's great. Yeah, just thought I'd poke around and see what they have in here. 
as far as holiday things. Sometimes they have some great prices on orchids this time of year. Don't know if that's going to be the case now. Things have changed a lot since 2020. Don't see as many of the amazing, super cheap deals on the plants, but you never know. It's worth looking, so I was going to be here anyways and need some other things. Yeah, I don't... They call it a coarse blend. The last couple of times I've bought this, it was not not good. It was fine for some plants, not for aeroids. Too uh, much moisture retention, not quite enough airflow for what I want. I used up the rest of what I had to pot up the queen and all those other plants, so I just needed to grab some more. Not bad. They had the, see the, the variegated ones? Those are my favorite. The ones with the cream speckling on the red flowers. Love those, don't see them all that often. Figured I'd see if there's anything going on with the Ryobi products for Black Friday, but it's not looking like it. Also no orchids, so this is a quick visit. I'm gonna hop over to the next store, see what they have over there. I don't know why I was thinking that it would be a good idea to go shopping for plants and literally the busiest retail shopping day of the earth. That was way too close now, which I don't know if you can see because it looks like my camera's frozen. Let's try that again. Oh no, the camera's not frozen. I have my lens protector on. That was okay. Not with it, apparently. That's okay. Worth it. Got some beautiful points that he has. I didn't mention the other one that I grabbed is white, but it's like white and green. Okay, it has a more of a mint to some of the leaves, which is kind of cool. That may have always been the case with the white ones, and I just never noticed, I'm not sure. Hey, just for the sake of enjoyment, we'll say it's a new thing. New to me anyways, you're gonna shut? Is it gonna work this time? Do I have to use my other hand? Is that the problem? No? Unlocks just fine with the touch sensor, but it's not locking, it doesn't make sense. Also, it's only been like two weeks since we were here, so I doubt the plants are going to look all that different, probably just less of them. 20 bucks for those. This isn't terrible. I miss that sale Home Depot used to have where it was, I think it was $10 a piece for these great big fowls. This, nope, this one. Oh, look at that, came falling right down. This is the one. I like this one. It has nice big chunks of bark in there, good pieces of perlite and charcoal. Then this one, the purple one, basically the same, but it has chunky peat in it, which is fine, but I prefer the other one because it makes a nice base for an aeroid mix and just getting the big chunky bark works well too. This stuff, the bark has been really thin the last few times I've gotten it, so it's like it's almost like a composty type potty mix. It doesn't quite do what you'd want it to do. Oh, and almost forgot, used up most of my sphagum. Not my favorite, but it works. Gets the job done. That should be enough. That's a nice supply. Should hold me over for a minute. Y'all probably don't care that much about what's in the cart when I'm surrounded by house plants, do you? There's, there's the house plants. Neon Pothos, that's a fun one. People like that one. I'm still going back to the fern here. Smells so good. That's a nice looking Maranta. Don't hate it. I do like Marantas. I don't grow them very often just because I actually don't know why. Maybe it's because I've just seen them around for so long that I forgot to appreciate them. But when you stop and look at them, they are beautiful plants and they do the fun leafy thing at night with the leaves. They have a nice, fun growth habit to them. As far as the calatheas go, they're one of the easier ones. The undersides of the leaves are absolutely beautiful, and you get the various tones. That is beautiful. I don't want it, but I, I, do, I sort of do want it. Not going to get it, though. Only buy them plants that I really, really love and have wanted for a long time. Those look nice. Oh, there's another one. This one looks better than that last one. Maybe I could get this one. I don't need it. I have many, but I like having them around because, like I said, they just smell so nice. I'll just let it hang out in the cart for right now. We'll get to know each other, see how things go. All right, that's a pretty good deal. Some of these are a nice size for eight bucks. Like, look at this one. I think this is a neon, right? Look at that. That's beautiful. Not getting it. Even just for all the little babies, that's well worth it. This wasn't planned, but I have a feeling I might be going home with a whole bunch of succulents. Love a good pocket hole. And my little pocket hole jig just broke. So, well, broke slash got 
destroyed by a lawnmower blade. Long story. Okay, so since this happened, I went ahead and I put the fern back because these also happened. I don't know what color this is, but I really, 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 really enjoy it. It's like neon salmon? I don't know. It's not red. It's not quite pink. It's more pink than red. In person, it's much more pink than red. That's neither here nor there. I put the fern back because I already have one, and then all these other things happened. Although, now that I think about it, I do really want the fern, so, you know. But I appreciate this. This orchid pot and this pattern, this is... I like it. The holes are kind of big, so I might have to line it with something to keep the bark from coming out. But for a really long time, the big stores were only selling orchid pots with, a, like, a flower pet. I'll show you. This. And this isn't that bad, but it's like a floral type of print on it. And uh, it used to be much more like they looked like flowers. And I didn't really like it. This, I like that. I appreciate it. Good for aeroids too, but you probably want to line it with something so that the bark doesn't come flying out of the holes. Those holes were a little bit large, getting distracted looking at plants. I think enough has happened here considering I just came in to get bark with the assumption that I would probably get some other things. Go ahead and get out of here. Go home. Have a closer look at the plants. Get those poinsettias set up and talk about... I don't know if I need to buy these to talk about them. I don't really want them, but hmm, somebody had asked me about this one right here. The pumping miracle Grow plant food. You just put a squirt into I think a gallon or so of water. That way you can fertilize your plants more easily, more frequently, that sort of thing. They also have the tropical houseplant food, and then what's the difference? You can look at the back, and basically you just see there's less phosphate in the uh, tropical foliage one. Otherwise, the nitrogen and potash, same thing. Everything else in here, it's just a lot more of the other things. There's some iron, some copper, some manganese, some zinc. Whereas with this one, you're just getting those three main ingredients, that's it. This one, you get more of the little ones. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. It's time to go. Tomorrow's Small Business Saturday, so I want to be able to go out and support the small businesses all. This, this makes me happy. I'm very happy to see the velvety type alocasias showing up here at the big box stores. You used to be able to find, I think it was this black velvet, which I may have originally, or at some point it was a cost of farm plant, and it disappeared for a long time. I don't know what this is. It's not labeled. I could speculate, but I'm not going to even bother with that. It just, I'm happy to see it. That's all. End of story. Also, look at you. Those are some beautiful flowers. Even though it's almost done flowering, I'm still very intrigued and wondering if it's perhaps identical to the one that I already have. I don't know. I guess we'll find out later when it opens up some more flowers. The magentas are typically my favorites. It's just like a classic. It's what I'm used to seeing when I was growing up. It's got a nice long flower on it. You usually find those in a larger size for relatively good price. So this is a pretty good price. You can grab three of them, throw them in a pot, and you have a nice full looking plant as it is. I do think I have this at home, or I have something similar enough to it, at least to whatever this is. So I'm not, not going to do that. I think that would be a waste if I'm pretty sure I already have it or have something similar enough that I'm not sure about it. Okay, I know I've said I was leaving like two or three times, but I just found this giant rack full of a whole bunch more that looks super healthy. Also, someone just told me that they're on sale for a buck fifty. So, the, I mean, come on, why not? Okay, got a few things. This should be enough. <laughs> Go home now. Get the poinsettia set up. I have a feeling I'm going to get those home and absolutely hate them, but right now, I am absolutely in love. Hey, baby. Did you miss me? Oh, yeah. Good time to do some stretching, huh? Do those stretches. Good boy. You're so good at doing your stretches. You're so good at doing your stretches. Give everybody a kiss. You're just going to bite the camera. That works too. That's fine. I'm glad you're not afraid of the camera anymore. No kiss? There you go. That's nice. I'm home. If you hadn't gathered that, I was trying to find pumpkin. There's some pumpkin. It's kind of dark. Sorry about that. Not going to really get to say hi. Kiss. Little one. Just a little kiss. Thanks, pumpkin. <sighs> Feels good to be home. Not that I was gone for very much a long time. Don't mind me, Turbo. But that was a lot of people. Lots and lots and lots of people out. So here's a slightly better look at the poinsettias. I'll take them out of the plastic so you can actually see what they look like. There we go. That's better. These are those ones that I said were that like magenta-y kind of color. It's not magenta. I don't know how to describe this. It's not even close to magenta. It's like a I, d I don't know. You tell me. Y'all are better with colors than I am. It is 
this color. That's what it is. Whatever you would call this, we'll just go with that. Does that sound good? Over here, these are those variegated ones, just red variegated poinsettias. They are my favorites. I haven't been able to find these at the big box stores or really any stores in a pretty long time. So I was happy to find these. To think I'd already mentioned, I just, I like all the color. And it's subtle variegation. It's like a cream. It's not a yellow. It looks like paint's been flecked onto the leaves. And then the white ones, which I actually think I liked these more at the store. They're just white poinsettias. Which, looking at this together, yeah, maybe not. This, this probably wasn't the way to go, but it's fine. There's a lighter pink with the poinsettias. It's very common, but I'm just not that crazy about it. And I saw these and I thought, well, why not? Other than the colors, just not all that holiday like, but maybe I'll end up just setting these somewhere else. I have a space over there on the bookshelves that the cats can't get to where those might look nice. And then these two or these four, those will be going over here. I need to make some room and move some things around. I haven't finished this because I'm looking for a new gar when this one's just the wires not bending properly anymore. And a lot of the needles have lost their needles. A lot of the branches have lost their needles. That's what I was trying to say. But ultimately, I'll probably get those set up over here. That's not supposed to be here. It's just it's just hanging out there for right now. And oh, look who's here. So I'm going to go ahead and get these moved. So nice to see you, Pumpkin. Thanks for showing up. That sun is coming through bright. I need to get the new... I have a thing that goes up there to block out the sun this time of year. Because with all the leaves up the trees, it comes in. It's blinding. It's way too bright. Seen these. There's dirty dishes in the sink. Don't feel like showing this area. That's enough of that. Have a look at the other stuff outside. I'm actually probably going to find a better place to put these for right now because I don't want leaves falling on the ground. There's debate around the toxicity with poinsettias. It's a euphorbia. It can cause problems. Why take the risk? The argument I get from people is that, well, it's not going to kill them. Like That doesn't, to me, that doesn't mean that it's okay for your pets to eat it. And you don't really know what's going to happen until it's happened, and then it might be too late. So I just prefer to keep them pushed away. But I do that with all my plants. I don't like to keep anything, even if it's safe for the pets, where the pets can get to it, because I don't want them chewing on my plants. And that all started, I'm gonna turn the heater off. That thing is way too loud to have on one filming in here. Oh, cool, apparently it's doing that thing where it doesn't want to turn off. All that stuff started years ago because there's some guy in the internet who's like, watch me eat the leaves, I'm fine. Okay, that doesn't make you smart and doesn't make it a good idea. So there's my take on the poinsettia toxicity. Maybe just don't eat them. I'm sorry about the fan. I, d I don't know why it's doing this. It just, there are some days where it doesn't respond to the remote and some days where it does. It's probably pretty obnoxious, so I'm gonna just show what we got here. You saw it in the cart, three echeverias. They have a whole bunch of nice growths coming out the sides that I can pop off and get propagated on two of them. They're looking nice. A couple of aloes that I think are absolutely beautiful. Aren't those beautiful aloes? And then the three Thanksgiving cactus, the Slumbageros. Here's mine. So no, they were not the same. Not at all. Not even all that close. I'm glad that I got the one that I did because I love the color of the flowers on that one. Actually, I think I like it more than this one. Hey, the fan turned off. That's better. A little bit more peace and tranquility with the fan off. It might kick back on in a minute. Sometimes it shuts off and goes back on. But yeah, here it is. I really like these aloes. This one, <laughs> I got this one because it had a flower spike on it, which doesn't look like it survived the car ride home. Probably should have stuck that in a cup holder, but the cup holders in that car, pretty much worthless for most size things. That wouldn't have fit in there anyways, but nice looking plants. I like the texture on these. I'm not seeing labels on them, so I'm not going to try and come up with a name for them. Just says 1.7 pint, oh, it's a pint ceramic succulent. Drop in. Okay. And no other type of label in here other than just dropping succulent. They look like the neon breakers to me, but it's been a while since I've seen a neon breaker that had a label on it. So maybe not, doesn't matter. I think they look nice. This one reminds me of an aloe that I think was called like coral something, coral spikes. Honestly, I don't remember. Comment down below if you want to take some guesses at the names on these. They're all very common. I just don't remember off the top of my head. And then here's a better look at those Schlumbergeras. Aren't they looking nice? I really like that color. I like the buds on them. They have a nice light apricot that fades into a pinkish coral with a darker pink on the end. 
nice looking plants. I'm glad I got those and I needed them because I'm supposed to do it. You'll see, there's a video I'm supposed to do about repotting these things. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. And I needed some to repot, so there they are. And then of course the kangaroo paw fern because you know, I can't stop myself when I find these for sale. Something about them. I just, I like the green. I like the texture. They kind of remind me of seaweed and they smell so good. I feel bad for the people who say they can't smell them because it really is a nice fragrance. It's just a subtle, sweet smell. Not an all day thing. It's usually in the morning and then in the evening, but it'll fill up a room with fragrance. Look how full this is. I'm probably going to use this one for cuttings and propagation because I would like to do a thing. I guess I shouldn't talk about it. There's a thing I'd like to do that involves this, but have to wait till it's time to do that to talk much about it. So that's everything I got here. And then the pocket square thing. Y'all saw that pocket square, pocket hole, pocket hole jig. Nifty thing to have around. Price is decent. You can get pocket hole jigs for a fairly good price at like a uh, Harbor Freight and online, but I like this one because it had a few more functions than being one that's just one that you clamp on and can't do much with. So I figured that was a good buy, and then I grabbed some of these nice, sturdy, clear orchid pots that Liz has been selling for a while now. I really like these. I like them a lot. They're nice and firm. Good pots. I don't know if I would have used these when I was growing tons and tons of orchids back in the day because they're like four or five dollars a piece, I think, and it's a lot cheaper when you have a ton of orchids to buy them in bulk, but they're not the same quality plastic. They're not as heavy and firm, which doesn't necessarily matter if you're not moving your plants around much, but I like them to have some sturdiness to them. And you also have the stuff for the aeroid mix. So that's that's where we are. That's how everything's looking. I'm loving these, loving all these. I have a, an office area that I'm working on in the house, and I would like to have a couple of succulents on some shelves and on the desk in there, so that's where those are going to go. So if you don't see these, it's because I actually put them in the house, which I don't do very often. I keep most of the plants out here, but some of these will be going inside. This one's going to stay out for a while. It needs a good amount of hydration. It's looking pretty thirsty, so I will make sure to give it a lot of water, give it a spray down. I actually probably, before I leave this in here, I should take this inside, take it into the shower and give this a very heavy spray because it did look like there were some pests on some of the plants in there, maybe some mealybugs, potentially spider mites. So need to do that with really with all of these things. Even though I have the predators out here to eat those things, like why just let it become a problem when it would be easy to at least hose them off and reduce how much damage could be done with all of that. Speaking of the predators, I haven't released that video yet. Predator mites and ladybugs are out here and things are looking better, but there will be a video coming out after this one where I talk more about all of that, all that fun stuff. These really are loaded with little pups to come off. I know not the best looking plants. They don't look terrible considering they've been squeezed together for such a long time. In total, I think there were nine on this one and five on here, so that's 14. When you have them and you can cut them off as a offset or an offshoot, you get a much faster plant than you do a more quick propagation than when you just pull a leaf and set it, you know, on top of your soil, whatever you're trying to use to get them rooted. Then you have to wait for them to keep growing more leaves and keep rooting. With these, you're rooting an entire little plant. So it just speeds the process up. Not a ton, but enough, which is nice. Like I said, that's one of my favorite of the Echeverias, whichever one it is. It's been a while since I've seen them with labels on them. I should mention, only because I've given these companies so much crap about it in the past, there's a drainage hole on the bottom of this decorative pot. For a long time, for really as long as I can remember, when buying plants from big box stores and they get them in these pots and they, it's really just a cash pot, right? It's a pot that the nursery pot sits inside of. So it looks nicer, can mark the price up. People can more easily buy them as a gift for somebody. Maybe they just think people don't have green thumbs or don't want to be creative on their own and they just want to just grab a plant. Fine, nothing wrong with that. But they usually do not have holes in the bottom of the containers, which is just, why? Why would you do that to people? Just asking for trouble. So if you're not going to put a label in there that says, take the plant out of the pot, water it, let it drip until the water stops running out of the pot, and then place it back into the container, it's just asking for trouble. It's basically just saying, hey, here's your plant. You're going to overwater it because there's no hole in the bottom of the pot and just not going to bother telling people that that's something that they need especially with succulents, they need drainage. So do these Thanksgiving 
holiday cactus, whatever you want to call them. They are different plants, Christmas cactus and Thanksgiving cactus, not the same thing. If there's any tip I would ever give anybody when buying these is to poke some holes in the bottom of that foil or take it out because they tend to rot if you leave them inside these things for too long, especially if you water them and don't let them sit out, have some time to dry before you put them back in. It's a tropical cactus, so they can take more moisture, but they don't want to be sitting in water. Some airflow is still good. Humidity and airflow helps them a lot. Nice bright light, not direct. Humidity, airflow, not sitting in water. Should have a pretty healthy, happy plant if you do things with them that way. But these things, these little bags, can become problematic. And actually, these foils can be nifty to have on the plants, especially if it's a plant that is in a more loose mix that takes a longer time to get hydrated because you can water the plant and let it sit in there for a little while to soak it up instead of having to use a bowl or let them sit in the sink and then pull back out and dump it. And it's not that different if you just cut a nice big hole in the bottom. It still slows how quickly the water can rush out of there, but it doesn't leave us that they're going to stay sitting and soaking in the water. So when I get a plant that has a foil on it, I like to just cut a little hole in the bottom. It usually does the trick just fine. These are so freaking beautiful. I love them. There's so much color here on the desk. Oh, and the thing with cutting the hole in the bottom of the foils, good idea if the poinsettia is too. Doesn't hurt. Don't want those sitting in water for a long time either. Do we, do we like this in person? little bit more vibrant than it's showing through on camera, but this is fairly accurate. Pretty close. A little bit more washed out with all the lighting in here, but I think that's a fairly good representation. Not an uncommon one. I've seen these around. I saw someone post on Instagram that they found some variegated holiday cactus at their Home Depot not that long ago, and I was like, well, that's impressive because those are not very easy to find. The variegated ones have a yellowy margin to the outside of those modified leaves there. It looks pretty cool. There's a better angle of the aloes there too. So you can see the spikes better on them than you could from up above. I think that that's everything. Good stuff. One of the has to grab a few poinsettias and some aeroid mix, really orchid potting mix, but it's what I generally use for my aeroids. Mix them with a good amount of sphagnum moss and uh, then, you know, all this happened. But yeah, they were on sale, so it's okay. Actually, that was not on sale. And really, $12.98 for these is, it's an okay price, but I wouldn't consider it a steal by any means. Because just a few years ago, you could get succulents about this size in a 4-inch container for like $5.98, $6.98, something like that. Okay, it's a better price because it comes with the pot that I don't particularly care about or care for all that much. I mostly wanted all the little offsets on those so I can get them propped up and then the springtime do some succulent arrangements and have a whole bunch of those to work with and then needed the Alice for the we've talked about all that Hope everybody had a happy holiday I'm wrapping it up I got the things to do around the house and get those poinsettias put away and all these things moved around and I had a nice week it was very busy but got a lot done not vlog worthy stuff just like house stuff I told you I'm remodeling a room right now and uh, I've been filming it in pieces so that if people want me to talk about it and show the process, then I will. But, and, you know, it's just cleaning and painting and trim, all that fun stuff. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life. Everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. Comment down below, say hi. If you want to give names to these plants, go right for it, particularly the aloes. That would be useful. I'm sure these have a variety name as well. If it doesn't have a label because of the channel, I don't like to throw a name out just to be safe because I want to accidentally mislead anybody when it comes to saying hey here's what this is and then they go look for it and it's then they end up with the wrong plant i'd feel bad about that happening i don't want to do that to anybody oh and thank you to the people who reached out to me and warned me about the rot issues with their queens i appreciate that that was a common message i was getting it's always something to watch out for with the aeroids because they need that humidity and they need the moisture but they cannot say sopping wet or they will rot so airflow and there's a, a dance that has to be done with them, so I'm going to be mindful about that. And, uh, of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.